हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्लास नाइन चैप्टर नंबर टू रियल नंबर प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर टू पॉइंट वन वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल क्लासीफाई द डेसिमल फॉर्म ऑफ द गिवन रैशनल नंबर इन टू टर्मिनेटिंग एंड नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिकरिंग टाइप सो टर्मिनेटिंग मीन्स द नंबर आफ्टर डिविजन गेट स्टॉप एंड नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग मीन्स इट्स डेसिमल पॉइंट कीप्स ऑन ऑकरिंग ओके सो terminating means we have to choose from these numbers only so 13 upon 5 29 upon 16 and 17 upon 125 are terminating now why they are terminating because that denominators are prime factors okay these denominators are prime factors of 2 and 5 Got it. So how are you going to find it orally? That whether they are terminating or non-terminating by looking at the denominator. If they are prime factors of two and five, then it is terminating number. Now non-terminating numbers from the same set you all have to choose, which is two upon eleven. Okay, and eleven upon six are non terminating recurring type because the denominators are other than prime factors 2 or 5 okay so now the next number is write the following numbers in decimal form now they have given us few numbers we have to write their decimal forms now how are you going to write decimal form of this number by division method okay so how are you going to divide it in the same way as we divide all the other numbers in the same procedure we have to divide it so 200 127 is a smaller number so we have 127 is a smaller number so we have to take zero so that we can carry forward it then a decimal point is added add one zero take this zero over here now it is 1270 okay so 206 r 1200 isn't it so 0700 again take one zero add over here okay now it is 700 700 doesn't come but two uh, we can say two stable also or 200 stable it's say one one and the same we have to just add zeros so 200 3s are 600 okay so take one more zero Two hundred five is a thousand. Okay, so we have to solve it until we get a recurring number or a terminating number. Now this is a terminating number. Why? Because we have got a zero. Okay, at the end. So this is supposed to be written in which form? Decimal form in this way. Zero point six three five. Isn't it easy? Let's solve the next sum. That is the second one, twenty-five upon ninety, ninety-nine. Sorry. So again, in the same way, ninety-nine and twenty-five. Twenty-five is a smaller number, so zero. So that this number will carry forward. Decimal point. Add one zero. Take one zero over here. Now two fifty doesn't come, but ninety-nine two is a one ninety-eight. comes so reduce it this is going to be 2 5 1 and take one zero over here sorry this will get reduced see this in this form it will get reduced okay so 5 2 0 99 5za 4 95 Okay, so again, this will be twenty-five. Okay, now you will see we have got twenty-five again. Okay, so this number is going to get recur, recurring number is going to start from this step onwards. So we have to stop it over here. Now, how are you going to write it in decimal form? Twenty-five ninety-nine. Is equal to zero point two five, and from here the step is going to reoccur. Okay, so it is a non-terminating number. Got it? Now the third sum is twenty-three upon seven. 
okay so let's take in this way 23 okay so 7 3 is a 21 2 will come over here add 1 point take 1 0 again 7 2 is a 14 okay so this is going to be 60 take 1 0 this is 2 7 8 is a 56 so it is going to be 4 take 1 0 add 1 0 over here now 7 5 is a 35 again 5 will come over here 0 take 1 0 over here add it over here now 7 7 is a 49 so 1 0 add 1 0 over here 7 1s are 7 it is going to be 3 0 over here so again one more 0 7 4s are 28 and 2 we have got ok so when we are getting 2 that means this number from 23 is going to 20 is going to start repeating that is from this number the number is going to recur these steps are going to recur after this step so how are you going to write this in the decimal form 23 upon 7 is equal to 3.285714 i hope the numbers are right yes they are so from here the steps are going to recur got it isn't it easy let's do the fourth sum now 4 upon 5 okay so let's divide it 5 will come over here 4 will come over here 4 is smaller so add 5 zeros are 0 4 will come again take 1 0 5 8 is 40 so the decimal form is going to be so it's it's a terminating number okay now next is fifth sum 17 upon 8 simple division is there children nothing much is to be done so don't worry 8 2 is a 16 1 0 take one decimal point add this decimal point over here 8 1s are 8 take 2 over here 0 8 2 is a 16 take 4 over here 0 again as we have added 0 8 5 is a 40 ok so 0 now the decimal form is going to be 17 8 2.125 ok so this is also a terminating fraction isn't it easy now Write the following rational numbers in PQ form. You all have to write these rational numbers in PQ form. So, how are you going to write it, children? So, first number is 0 0.6. Okay. So, x is equal to 0 0.6. Okay. Let x be 0 0.6. Here, 6 is the only recurring digit. Okay. So, this is the only recurring digit. So, multiply both the sides by 10. Now, why 10? Unit and tens this is supposed to be unit and this is supposed to be tens okay so therefore this is going to be 10x is equal to 6 into 6 what we have done multiplied both the sides by 10 and why we have divided with multiplied it with 10 because unit and tens. Isn't it? We read it that way in decimal form. So therefore, 10x minus x is equal to 6.6 .6 minus 0 0.6. So what we have done over here, we have multiplied both the sides with 10. After that, we have subtracted these two numbers. Isn't it easy? So therefore, this is going to be 9x is equal to when you reduce it, uh, subtract it, the answer is going to be 6. Therefore, x is equal to 6 upon 9. When it changes its side, 9 changes to 
multiplication to division okay now reduce it 2 3s are 2 sorry 6 3 2s are 6 and 3 3s are 9 so x is equal to 2 upon 3 isn't it easy so how are you going to write at the end 0.6 is equal to 2 upon 3 okay so this is a p okay p q form so p and q p is 2 and 3 is q isn't it easy to solve let's solve the next one 0.37 and there is a recurring sign okay so x is equal to 0.37 in the same form we have to solve it okay so 3 and 6 are the two recurring digits okay 3 and 7 are the two recurring digits so what we have to do is multiply it with 100 over here we have multiplied because after decimal point there was one digit but after decimal point there are two digit that means we have to multiply it with 100 okay so multiply both the sides by Hundred unit tens hundred point is counted as units. Okay, so this is going to change to hundred x is equal to now you all have to change the decimal point. So thirty seven point thirty seven is going to be your after multiplication. Okay, from both the sides with hundred. Now therefore take these numbers and subtract it. That is hundred x. Minus x and three seven is equal to thirty seven minus zero point thirty seven. Okay, so I have subtracted these two numbers. Now simple subtraction that is ninety nine x is equal to when you subtract this the answer is going to be thirty seven. Therefore x is equal to thirty seven upon ninety nine ninety nine when multiplication changes to division after the side changes. So therefore zero point thirty seven is equal to thirty seven upon ninety nine. This is the answer. Next third sum three point seventeen. Okay, so x is equal to three point seventeen. One and seven are the two recurring numbers, isn't it? One and seven are the two recurring numbers. Therefore, it is to be multiplied again with hundred. Multiply both the sides by hundred. Why hundred? Unit tens hundred. In this pattern, you all have to. Read it. So hundred x is equal to three one seven point seventeen. Therefore, now multiply subtract these two. This with this, that is hundred x minus x, and this and this three one seven point seventeen minus three point seventeen recurring sign. So therefore, subtract this. Answer is going to be ninety nine x, and subtract this. The answer is going to be three hundred and Fourteen. So therefore, x is equal to three one four upon ninety nine. That means three point seventeen is going to be written in this form. Isn't it easy? Now the fourth, the only point, the only thing that you all have to remember is after point you all have to count unit tens hundred. Okay. So the next number is fifteen point eighty nine. So x is equal to fifteen point eighty nine. Try to solve all the sums in one pattern only, children, so that there is no confusion. Here eight and nine are two recurring factors. There are two recurring factors. That means it is to be multiplied with hundred. Okay. So multiply. Excuse me for that noise. So multiply both the sides by hundred. So hundred x is equal to one five eight nine point eighty nine is going to be your recurring number. Okay. So therefore, hundred x minus x is equal to one five eight nine point eighty nine minus fifteen point eighty nine. So therefore, subtracted ninety nine x is equal to subtract this one five seven four. 
okay so therefore x is equal to 1574 divided with 9 so 15.89 is 1574 upon 99 now the fifth sum is 2.514 and these are the recurring numbers so let x is equal to 2.514 okay recurring multiply both the sides two digits are there isn't it Four, three digits are there so unit tens hundred thousand got it children in this way you all have to read there are three so you all have to multiply both the sides with thousand both the sides by thousand rest everything is same only this statement keeps on changing is equal to 2514.514 this is recurring so therefore subtract these two now 1000x minus x is equal to 2514.514 minus 2.514 okay so these pairs you all have to subtract therefore it is going to be 999x 2512 after subtraction x is going to be 2512 upon 999 that means same question you all have to write again 2514 recurring sign 2512 upon 999. I hope this exercise is clear to everyone. If there is any queries, please mention in the comment section. I will try to answer your queries children. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.